I am already shooting another video. Um, a few hours ago, I shot the um, the Tesla Mattel Creations video, and now I am shooting this. If you can't tell what this is, this is a case of Team Transport uh, Mix R. I just got this today. I'm gonna be opening it and showing you what's inside. So, come on, here we go. Um, come on, come on. You not quite get all the way there. Through. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna be taking these out and then, um, actually I need to do a thumbnail picture with these. So I'm probably gonna take them out of the case really fast and I'm gonna cut back and open them. So, um, first one of the box, come on, come on. Don't be shy. There we go. This is the 72 Plymouth Cuda FC with the retro rig snake two that's one of them next one is the lber 31st 34 super silhouette nissan skyline with the fleet street i think fleet street's a new hauler i'd have to check i'm pretty sure it's new i'll have to double check though and then there are two um, the Porsche 962 with the Sakura Switcher, so I have two of these now. So I'm actually going to get these, um, uh, I'm going to take thumbnail pictures, get these unboxed. Not get them unboxed, I'll unbox them on camera. But I gotta take thumbnail pictures, I'm gonna cut back. Alright, I am back, and I'm gonna get these suckers open. Now I'm going to start off with the Porsche 962 with the Secura Sprinter. There's the art. Oh, that if you want it. I just want to find these in the store. Um, now this, I as you saw when I opened the case. These are two per case. And I need a little protective thing. And, okay, i got to make sure this doesn't fall out. Now I can talk. I have to get this plastic out. Come on, get out. So these are two per case. So you're gonna see two of these Porsches per case. And what I think was gonna happen is that this is gonna become a peg warmer because I feel like a lot of people might want the um, the Snake too, but also the, the Nissan Skyline. I feel like that's gonna be a very popular model. It's a very popular casting. And yeah, we get two of the Porsches. Probably the least interesting thing to collectors. I personally like it, but you know, collector tastes. So I feel like this thing's, we're, I'm gonna see a lot of these on the pegs. But here's the Holler, the Secure Sprinter. This was in the very first mix of Team Transport. I believe it was with the, um, I think it was the first mix. I think it was with the Laurel. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. But it's got Shell and Porsche on it, which is nice that they have the uh, both branding on it. They got Shell on the back doors there. There's the other side. There's Shell on the front. Really cool vintage Shell livery. And then the Porsche 962. So... Uh, overview of this casting, it debuted, I believe, 2017 in a car culture mix. I think it was Gretty. I think it was in Gretty. And, uh, oh, what the heck is that on the front? What is, what is that? It's glue. Oh, my. That's awkward. There's actually a piece of uh, cardboard there, but it's, like, stuck on with glue. So there's actually glue on this. I'm gonna have to try and get that off. Oh shit, it's actually peeling off the paint. Oh no. I should have maybe opened the other one. Because hey, now the paint's peeling off. Okay, that's... 
yeah that that's a very cool you can see actually where the paint's kind of getting scraped off there yeah thank you mattel for putting a glob of glue on my porsche 962. thankfully there's another one in the case ah thankfully there's another one in the case so i'll be fine but yeah anyway this kid debuted in 2017 and Gretty, it got a release in 2018 in Advan. Um, it was also released in 2020 in Entertainment and Porsche livery. And then it was in a Car Culture 2 pack with the re-release of the Advan and the Valvoline one. I don't know if there's been any more versions. No, there was another version in uh, actually Team Transport. It was a Momo one in 2018. So this is the second time in Team Transport, and I gotta say, this is, this thing's awesome. Here's the top of it. Shell Mitt M2000. I really like it. I don't know if it'll beat the Advan, just because any Advan just rocks, but this one's really cool. Sucks there's a glob of glue on mine. It kind of ruined it, but... Sucks. So thank you, Mattel, for um, for that. Very, very awesome. And yeah, that is the uh, Porsche. Next one is the um, 72 Plymouth Cuda FC with the Retro Rig. Retro Rig was in the second mix of Team Transport. Okay, this is, this is not going to open. Oh, come on. Come on. I busted through. Should have shown the packaging out there, but whatever. Get out. Here we go. Okay. So there's the retro rig. Got all sorts of deco on it. Snake 2. Dawn Perdome on the back there. The other side front snake two on the license plate that's a really cool one i really dig that one then um here's snake two so snake two has actually been released before in the original oh, crap you can't even see that it was released in the original drag strip demons line and i think this is a very similar ver ver version to that there might be subtle like deco changes but it's very similar similar to the Drag Strip Demons release of Snake 2. Whether we're going to see a Mongoose 2, I have no clue. Because a lot of, we actually did get Snake and Mongoose in Team Transport in 2018. Actually, it was in the same mix as uh, the Momo 962. But uh, we got the Snake and Mongoose uh, both in the same mix. But here we only have Snake, so I wonder if we're going to get Mongoose. This opens up, by the way, and it's pretty sweet. This is a really awesome casting. It's really good looking. I really dig that. Flames on the top. There's a lot of history with um, Snake and Mongoose and Hot Wheels. It's a very, uh, very healthy and long lasting uh, partnership that benefited all, all parties involved. And it's very cool. And we get another release of Snake and mongoose cars like this time it's, it's just snake but you know what that's still really awesome the last one will probably be the most sought after is the lber super silhouette nissan skyline with the fleet street the fleet street is indeed a new casting oh my god mine is crunched the blisters actually crunched get out I gotta be careful i don't want this to hit on the hard surface here we go and oh my, my um, Nissan is a little speck in the windshield. That kind of sucks. What's up with the quality control, man? Okay, this is Fleet Street. I'm assuming the bed tilts back. Yes, it does. Let's just pretend like that did not happen. Um, does it tilt down at all? No, it doesn't even tilt down. Well, it might. Hang on. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. There's no way. I'm trying to I'm trying to get this to tilt down. Okay. 
okay, maybe, but then, like, that's the, I don't know how this works. I'm confused. This is a new hauler. It's got the uh, six spokes on it, which looks cool. There's the front, the side, Liberty Walk and Modal on it. Back. Nice hauler. It's pretty cool. New, Like I said, new hauler, so there's that. And then the model at hand. It's casting released this year in uh, Mountain Drifters. And it was also the chase of that mix. And this, so this is the third version. I love it in the 10 spokes. Looks good in modal. And Advan on the side, too. Liberty Walk logo there, too. There's the back. There's the side. There's the front. Here's the top with the little speck in the windshield because mine sucks, I guess. And that is, uh, that's, yeah, this is a really nice casting. The Liberty Walk models are so cool. It's been very cool to see these from Hot Wheels. They've all been pretty cool. They've actually all been really nice. And, you know, I just say keep them coming. I want more Liberty Walk. The, co the cars themselves are cool. And, yeah, so that is Team Transport Mix R. Pretty good mix. Wish there was only one of these per case because... Also, I don't like the glue spec there. That really bothers me. Really wish these were one per case. These, this, this be two because this is going to be the really popular one. This one I feel like is going to become a peg warmer. But yeah, overall, also this is awesome. Overall, really awesome mix. And we'll see what the next mix is like. See ya.